Okay, right now it is Monday, September the 18th, 2017. It is 83 degrees Fahrenheit right now. It's a little bit humid, but I'm um, going over to see my mom and dad. My mom had to go to the doctor. Her brain still isn't there. Her mind is not there right now. That's the sad thing. She's taking all this chemo and all these treatments and stuff. And uh, that stuff will get to you. And I mean, first thing that I got woke up to this morning, what I woke up to, my wife yelling at me, saying that I didn't tell her about a doctor's bill that I paid. And uh, I mean, I work a full-time job, you know. I mean, I work, I have to pay my bill. So I did, so I get bitched at for paying my bill because uh, they're gonna turn this shit over to the collection agency and they come after you. I've had problems with that before. But uh, it's like I said, I work. He doesn't work at all. He thinks a full-time job is working 40 hours every two weeks. I mean, that is so how far out of reality her son is who's 23 and lays on his back and stares at his telephone you know from the time he wakes up until the time he goes to bed stares at that phone non-stop he'll be upstairs sitting looking at his phone it's all social media shit that's all it is that's all he looks at is social media he will not try to find a job on his telephone He's, he gets internet access so he could find a job on his telephone, which he doesn't want to do. He's content dressing up in his work clothes and dress pants and going into a job, which he makes, I think, like $7.75 an hour or whatever it is. And that's it, $7.75 an hour. But he's happy with that. But he, you know, he can, he buys all this shit, you know, doesn't help his mom out at all, doesn't pay for his food. He eats everything that we buy, you know, and it's like, when's enough going to be enough? You know, I mean, I've already been pushed over to my uh, limit right now. I've been pushed over the edge. I really don't care what my wife and I do anymore. I mean, it's like, if she wants to find somebody else, I mean, more power to her. I know one thing, I am looking for somebody else. I have to. I've got to find somebody else. I can't keep tolerating this bullshit and getting shit thrown in my face when, you know, her son, I don't have any children with her, that's just it. You know, I don't have any children to call my own. That's what's sad, that's what I'm missing out on this life. You know, but everything gets thrown in my face. Uh, oh, you don't do nothing for them, you don't do this and that. What the fuck does he do? He fucking lays around all fucking day looks at his motherfucking telephone all fucking day, looks at the social media to see how popular he is or what's going on, but he will not get on that motherfucker to find a motherfucking job. He lays around all day long and eats and watches uh, CNN headline news and drinks and eats and gets drunk at night, throws up, shits in his pants and pisses on himself. You know, so... It's, it's really sad. I mean, it is sad. It's just a fucked up situation. I've got to get out of it. And uh, I plan on it. So anyway, if you do see this, believe me, I am looking for somebody else. And I am. I don't give a fuck. I don't care if you see it or not. Shit has not changed around there in so fucking long that I could just throw up. Nothing has changed. That's why I don't care anymore. If she wants to go fuck somebody else, I don't give a motherfucking shit. I could give a fucking rat's ass less. I've been looking for some pussy. I know that. And I'm gonna find it. And it ain't a cat either. It's gonna be some good ass motherfucking pussy. So, uh, that's all I gotta say.